What's up you guys? Welcome back to your channel. It's your girl Miss Your Name is G and welcome to the first episode of Wine Down Wednesdays. Cheers! If y'all hear noise in the background, that's the fan. But welcome to the first episode of Wind Down Wednesdays. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video. And yeah. So today's topic is actually going to be what's going on with the baby. The baby. I'm going to be fixing my eyebrows because they're looking kind of janky. But yeah, what's going on with the baby? Because ever since his little uh, performance, child they have been stopping his bags like everybody's dropping him from performances and stuff um like Lala Palooza and stuff but we gonna get into that but I'm really doing this because um I'm kind of confused on what the problem is so before I become a problem I want to know like what the hell was said like actually said and like why is everybody so upset like why is he being attacked so I'm definitely gonna be looking into that um, I'm gonna be telling you guys verbatim what he said just in case y'all don't know what the hell I'm talking about and then um, I'm gonna let y'all know like when I said his bags are being stopped like who dropped him from what and why and you know most of them made statements and stuff so we gonna get into that too and then in the end I'm gonna give my opinion because because I can because everybody can have an opinion so I'm gonna put my opinion in what they say your little two cents yeah i'm gonna put my little two cents in i'm just kidding i'm just gonna state my opinion and then we can um talk about what y'all think in the comments my eyebrows they cool whatever 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 so i have my handy dandy ipad here so i can tell y'all verbatim what he said and then we're gonna have to break it down because i don't know what that was going on so basically um during his set at the Miami, Florida Festival, the baby basically said verbatim, if you didn't show up today with HIV AIDS, any of them deadly sexually transmitted diseases that'll make you die in two, three weeks, then put your cell phone lights up. He also said, ladies, if you're smell like water, put a cell phone light them up. Fellas, if you ain't sucking in a parking lot, Put your cell phone light up. Keep it real. Now, ever since then, the baby has been dragged, spreading. They say he's spreading misinformation about HIV AIDS alongside stigmatizing, stigmatizing the illness. Um, let's see. Ever since then, um, you know, people that he's... I'm not going to say people because I've only heard of one. And I don't even know this artist. But whatever. Um one female artist that he worked with on the song came out and basically what she said was I really don't recognize this as the person I worked with um I don't know I, 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 I don't know so basically Demi Lovato, Demi Lovato jumped in Elton John, Chris Brown, and Lil, um, Lil Nas X has all chimed in and as a result of the comments, he was dropped from his, like I said, Lollapalooza, the 2021 govern, Governor's Ball. Lollapalooza made a statement of Lollapalooza was founded on diversity, inclusivity, respect, and love. The organizers tweeted this on August 1st. Um, so with that in mind, the baby will no longer be performing at Grant Park tonight. 
child they are stopping this dude's bag he was also dropped from a benefit concert for the working families party that he was supposed to headline along with Saweetie and Wycliffe um at first I felt like he didn't apologize he was just because Questlove um, came out and said something or posted something and I felt like the baby's response to that was basically like you can't stop me like shut the fuck up you can't stop me who the fuck are you you a fan okay but uh he did ended up apologizing and this is what he had to say i appreciate the many people who came to me with kindness who reached out to me privately to offer wisdom education and resources that's what i needed and it was received I want to apologize to the LGBTQ plus community for the hurtful and triggering comments I made. Again, I apologize for my misinformed comments about HIV AIDS and I know education on this is important. Love to all. God bless. He did that um, in regards to what he said back in July. Now, after reading verbatim what he said, the only thing I don't understand is why did the LGBTQ community why were they the only ones who were offended by the HIV AIDS comment? Um, I'm not, I don't know if that's the only thing that they were offended by, but that's what he's making it sound like. But there's all kinds of people out here with um, HIV AIDS. All I'm saying is that he didn't, he might have implied it and maybe they was just like, he talking about us like girl, he talking about us, you know? But not once ooh, I spit not once in his comments did he say did he um specifically point out the LGBTQ community. I mean he could have maybe when he said fellas if you ain't dick in a parking lot like okay yeah okay now nah, okay yeah, yeah, yeah. so ever since then the shade room has been posting every time a um what do you wanna call it like a concert or whatever you want to call it has been dropping him and if i'm not mistaken he was just dropped from something else um i just feel like damn like you got to be more careful on what you say how you say it um some shit you need to just be quiet here it is so day in vegas dropped him So he made his comments on the Rolling Out set. Day in Vegas. They are no longer. He's no longer part of their November lineup. And instead, they've added Roddy Rich. Um, who else? Let's see if I can just click his hashtag, and we can go and see everybody who dropped them. Yeah, see, they say the baby lost the money because the homophobia has the consequences. Can y'all see that? You gotta be real careful on what you say because he losing a lot of money. A lot of money. He can act like it don't hurt his pockets, but he losing a lot of money. I'm trying to see if I can um, pull up all the festivities that dropped the baby. Let's see. I already said the governor's ball. Stay in Vegas. Lord Malia. Lollapalooza. <laughs> Chicago's Lollapalooza. Hey girl. So yeah. That's what's going on. And every time the shade will post, I just comment and be like, damn. Thank you. Uh, yeah, go give me some more. But yeah, so he's missing out on a lot of money. Um, not this, mama. You can't drink this. 
all because he was misinformed, miseducated, and didn't educate himself before making any remarks. He said it was just like a, no, you can't drink this, like a hype, like put your lighters up type shit. But I don't know. I don't know, but my opinion, like I said, you got to educate yourself before you start making these comments because if it's anything the internet going to do, they're going to come for you. No matter how big you think you are, how popular, how anything you think you are. Well, I'm not going to say anybody because some of these celebrities, mm, I'm going to just drink on that. This is really good. I'm drinking Stella Rosa Red, if y'all didn't know. And I mixed it with some um, cran pineapple juice. Boom! But yeah, y'all, so I just feel like some shit, when you're an, a celebrity or you're a public figure or whatever, you know, like, you know everything you do, say, whatever, is going to be magnified and looked at deeply by the public and if you don't clear it up more and more what would you want to call it more and more I guess opinions on it and different different like what you meant by it is gonna um, appear and the longer you wait to clear it up, the worse it's gonna get. Um, so when you're a celebrity, I would just say, think before you talk, think before you speak, educate yourself, and just be careful with your words because, child, I ain't never seen somebody bag get stopped this much, and it ain't been nothing. He made them comments on the 26th. Today is the third child. It's barely been a week and one day. Exactly. And a lot of his bags has been stopped because of this. So, some things you got to keep to yourself. That's my opinion. I won't even say no shit like that. Like, he couldn't just be like, ladies, if you think I'm sexy, put your cell phone to Fellas. If you're here for the ladies, put your cell phones up. Like, <laughs> okay, okay, man. okay, okay. You gonna move? He could say something simple like that. But no, he had to go deeper. But yeah, y'all. That's it for today's wind down Wednesday. No, mama. Let me hear your opinion on it in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this with your sister, your uncle, your cousin. And the next Wind Down Wednesday will be, of course, on Wednesday. And I'll be... I'll see y'all in my next video. Cheers. Bye. First off, I love what I do. Feel like I'm on top of the world and loving the view. Time flies out with the old and in with the new. I'm doing me and as you can see, I grew and I grew. Yes.